Oh my rip. City. What a shot, man. That's crazy. That went a long way. They might be old, but they are pure. I don't know what it is, guys, but they are good. Guys, welcome back to another GM Golf video. Today we're doing another vintage golf club challenge, a thrift store golf challenge. If you guys haven't watched the previous one that we just did, it was uploaded on Tuesday, and we played with these bad boys right here. These were arguably the hardest golf clubs to hit, which go check out the video to see how we played. It'll probably be linked in the description or literally just go on my YouTube channel and you guys can find it. But today we were playing with golf clubs, a full set of vintage Walter Hagen golf clubs from the 1930s. From what we looked up on the internet, we found out that it was probably around 1930s when these clubs were made. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm actually right on that. We're going to take you guys back about four hours when we were searching for these golf clubs. Bradley, roll the footage. Dude, let's buy these too. Oh my gosh. We'll buy those for a future video. That is the, look at that glove face. Yeah, I don't, I mean, let's go buy them both. As you guys can tell, we actually stumbled upon this set by accident. We were looking for these clubs that were sent to us by a fan and we found this set as well. So in today's video, these are the clubs that we have. These irons are Walter Hagen irons. Let's just kind of go through the bag here. We got a nine iron, we got a six iron, we got a five iron, we got a two iron, we got two three irons, we got a four iron. These are so rusty. Iron. Seven iron, we got a, two putters right here. This is actually, a, show them, talk to them. This is like, it looked, I thought it was an iron. We didn't even know it was a putter at first. And then we get down here, we look at it. It's actually has the loft of a putter. I like it. It says it's, 10 on it. it I don't know what that means. On it. Unreal. And then we got two woods. We got a two wood and we got a one wood. And this wood, which is a three wood, is broke. So let's get in this video. Let's play some golf. Let's see how we can do. Explain the first hole, Tick. All right, guys, we're starting out a par three. Okay. For any of y'all didn't know, we're out here at Twin Creeks Golf Club. Second hole, it's probably about 160 yards. Garrett has a seven iron. Okay. That was the purest ball fly I've seen in a long time. Oh! Dude, I for some reason, these old clubs, if you guys go watch the other video that we made of that set, these old clubs get me. For some reason, I just hit them well, and it's a weird thing of mine, but I just do. So, take up here also with the seven iron. I got a birdie putt. Let's see what he can do. Let's see if he can dial it up in here and hit a good shot. And that hole in one? It's short. Go. Guys, that was right. Right. right at it, but it's, I think it's a little bit short. Uh, it may have got a kick forward off of that bunker, but I think I'm gonna have a putt. In today's video, we're also playing stroke play. The last challenge we did, we played stroke play. And what we're gonna be doing is playing five holes in today's challenge. We're gonna see how low we can go. I believe I can shoot under par. With these golf clubs, I truly think I'm going to shoot under par. Maybe not. I think I'm feeling a bit more dialed than I was last week. Same. Let's get it going. Guys, walking up to the green, TIG is a little more short than my ball. That's kind of what we're looking at. We both have birdie putts, so we're both in a decent spot here. I'm going to be going with putter, as most people would. That's TIG's putt. Let's see if we can make some magic happen and make some birdies, or, or one of us can make a birdie here. He's going up the hill. I think it's breaking a little left to right. Better putt than I've putt all day. That's true. Theoretically, in theory, I should be able to make that, but you never know what can happen. Garrett now full birdie and to take an early lead in this 1930 golf edition. Just slips by again. His speed has just been impeccable today. Good, good? Good, good. That's we're gonna do a good, good. You know what I mean? That one in. Two balls. Two balls, man. We don't normally do that, but we just did good, good. So we're both even par. Onto our second hole of the day. I'm feeling good about these clubs so far. Onto our second hole of the day, which is a par four. A little bit of a slight dog leg to the right. Kind of what it looks like, guys. I'm going with the driver, and I believe Tig is doing the same thing. Yes, and I believe you are right. This this is actually one of the longer par fours on this course, so it's going to take two rips to get it there and two shots and hit this green in regulation, but this is a I don't know. Club, I like bro. the way this club is feeling. It's so heavy. It's heavier than me, bro. That's fine. That thing is scooting, scooting, McGooting. The thing about these old drivers is if you hit it in the center of the face, it still goes pretty far. I will say it goes really low, and that's kind of what I just experienced there. Take also up here with the driver. That is right by mine. That'll be good. Yeah, that's pretty solid. A little right, but it'll be okay. I don't know where that little that power fade comes from. I don't know. The technology is different. All right, guys. Garrett's ball found this little patch of clover right here. Mine's somewhere up there. We haven't got to it yet. But Garrett's probably have every bit of 175 yards here. I got six. Yeah, I would say lot. every bit of that number. I 
I think that's pretty good. Is it short? Yeah, it's a little short. It came out a little dead, to be honest with you guys. But I, I, hit it. I thought I saw that too. I feel like it came out with no spin. Buy a little flyer. I hit that so well though, so that's good. All right, here we go. This is Tig. He's got about 135 yards. That's what he's looking at. Yeah, I got this, but I. <laughs> what is this it? This is actually a hickory shaft. Oh my gosh, that's insane. It's a nine. Nine iron. I, I don't know if this is gonna work. But... Tig, nine iron. Might need to go. Nope, that's perfect. Oh my. I think that's a couple feet. It's about 15 feet long, but that was hit really what? well. Yeah, good shot. I don't think you're right this time. Okay. Dang, guys, 15 feet long. I wonder who just said that. <laughs> you thought you were short? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I will say, I thought mine was short of the green, but I got a putt, so I was wrong there. Yeah, I mean, I threw a dart, honestly. I, I mean, I hit it right at it. Pretty good distance coming out of there, out of that kind of tall grass. Didn't really know what I was working with, but I'll take a birdie putt any day of the week. All right, guys, we got Garrett for birdie. Down the hill, it's got about 25 feet. Here. That's gonna vroom vroom by a little bit. That's a little faster than I expected. It was a good stroke, just a little long. Not ideal. Take here, down the hill. Trying to dial it in here. Solid putt. That's in for par. I, I will say this is gonna be a tough putt for me. Solid par start. Now Garrett has this to remain all square going into our third hole of the day. Wow. And if there's any time for him to be clutch, it's there. On to a par those, five. Those short putts today with this putter are not easy. This putter's not the easiest thing to hit. All right, guys. Our fourth hole of the day is a par five. It's not too long, but with these clubs, it's probably going to be pretty long. It's probably about 500 yards. Garrett going with the one wood, the driver, and probably just trying to play that, that, little, that little baby fade. And draw. that one literally drew. Oh, baby. But it's probably going to run. Oh! That felt so pure off the face, I'm not gonna lie. That's crazy. So I think I'm gonna be in the left side of the fairway, maybe a tad bit in the rough. I hit it really solid, so I'm happy with the swing. Look at that GM merch, cop it down below. You guys know what to do. Oh, that's out. It is hazard, but I believe it's not gonna be good. Okay. What do you have to say? Hit that hard too, dang gummit. Dang gummit. That's not good at all. No. That's going to put me at a very quick disadvantage. You never know, it might have bounced back out. Man, I hit that hard. Dang. All right, guys, closing in on that 500,000 mark. And I, I know I say closing in when we're literally a hundred and some odd subscribers away. But interesting stats that I was looking at. In the last three months, the YouTube channel has gained over 91,000 subscribers. So huge shout out to you guys. Everybody who does hit that subscribe button is so very much appreciated. Anybody who watches the videos, likes, engages, whatever it may be, like I really do appreciate you and I just want you to know that. But yeah, I guess technically I can say that we were closing in on that 500,000 subscriber mark so if you guys want to hit that subscribe button i believe over 50 percent of the people who watch these videos are not subscribed it would be very much appreciated if you guys did every subscriber does go a long way and it does really help the channel and it helps us continue to do what we're doing and produce content that we want to produce how far do i have long ways not that far dude he doesn't trust me i have about 210 yards i thought i was gonna have way farther man i think my ball is in play nah dude look at these oh my yeah yeah those are the two options. Insane. Hit the four. I got the three. I don't think it's gonna go that far. Oh my gosh, it's off oh. the back. It's long. I think it was four iron. I hit that so good though. These clubs, <laughs> pig, I'm putting these in the bag, man. Like those feel so pure. It's crazy. I can't even explain it. I don't know why, but they are good. Guys, Tig had to drop. He went in somewhere over there, but he's gonna drop right here. I told him this is probably a pretty decent spot. He's got about 190, 195. What club is that gonna mean, Tig? I think it's gonna mean five. I like that. I like that. Probably not quite a full swing. Once again, older clubs had higher loft, so a five iron would be like a seven iron in today's world. So you got to factor that in when you're making your decision. That's why I hit three iron from 210 when normally that'd be about a five iron for me. Take here. Dude, insane. Camera's a little hazy. Couldn't quite see where that landed. Where was it? I think it was, it, hopefully it's just over the bunker and I hit six. Oh my gosh. It came out so hot, like a laser with no spin. We both have decent 
decent positions here. He needs to make par, but I can get up now for birdie here. Guys, this is me just long in the green. Take his on the green. I can get this up now for Bert. Yeah, I got a putt for birdie. Even if I hit one out of bounds, Garrett has a really good look at here to possibly get this one down and up I, and down. I got the nine iron. Look at this club face, man. I know. It's literally like I could cut a steak with that. It's so freaking bladed. I like that, though. I think that's why I need to go back to blades. Go in. I think it's a little long, but that's probably almost a guaranteed birdie. Is, that, is this good? Yeah. I'm wandering through three holes with these crazy clubs. That is crazy. I love it. I feel like I'm going to get on a streak and just start playing super well with these clubs. I don't know. We will see. Take here. Down the hill with this putter. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Hit a house. He's got this up the hill for his par. And to stay at even, right, this would keep him at one down. Can he do it? And he's... Ah, bogey. I'm one under, he's one over. I'm currently two up. On to hole number four, short par four. Definitely birdieable. You know what? I don't really care if I'm using clubs from a long time ago. Bogeys suck. Ah. All I know is I'm aiming way, way left. How are you drawing this club right now? Probably gonna miss the fairway just to the left. It's not easy to hit sometimes. I guess I'm getting a little quick, but those wings feel good. So I don't know, maybe I just suck. Take here. Also going with the driver, I like to play. I might actually, I'm gonna do something different. I should probably start hitting the two wood. I think that might be the play a little more, a little more loft. Oh my rip, city. What a shot, man. That's crazy. That went a long ways. I tell you, I, you just aim left and just hit it hard. I like that. I need to try and play the fade. All right, guys. Garrett's ball just missed the fairway here. He's probably got about 160 left. And then my one, ball. About 150. Way, way the heck up there. That was a poke with that club. That is a bomb. I got 9 iron. Garrett with 9 iron. Oh, he's opened the door. He might have made birdie. What? Not... Dude, I think this was is more like a 50, 60, yeah. degree, low key. I think there might have been an eight. I should have hit the eight. Dang. That's the first time I've hit that club, so I didn't know how far I was going to go. I hit it right at the pin, though. Ball flight, contact, and everything feels good. All right, Tig, get this up and down. I got like this 52 degree or something. 52 degree, aka the niner. 80 yards, six, 70 oh, yards. No, that's good. I think that's good. That's not good. That's, that's long. Yeah, woo. That gum it. That gum it, man. Shoot, shoot me the foot. All right, guys, this is where my ball ended up. It's it just didn't really spin much. You know what? At the end of the day, it's a pretty good shot. Garrett is just over there. Can't see his ball, but he has that nine ironed AK 52 degree, and he has got pretty good opportunity to get this up and down. He's he left the door open for me a little bit. And I would say that's probably not a gimme today. It's definitely still some meat on that chicken. That is not a gimme any day of the week, man. Especially on Thursday, and it's Thursday. Here we go, Tig, down the hill. Can he make a clutch putt? This is for his birdie, and this would put him back at even par, and one down, potentially. Oh, he hit it off the green, man. He's still out. I just cannot get this putter. It has been killing me all day. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really I need to break up with that putter. So are you two over now? Yeah. The putter really is a weird one. You guys, get it for par. I'm, I'm just getting absolutely steamrolled Wait, out here. Right what now. did I say? We're on the last hole, and I said I want to shoot one under. I am potentially could shoot one under. I'm one under, takes two over. He's three down, going to the last. Yeah, so it's not looking good for me today. So far, the old clubs have just kind of been taking advantage of me. About 150 here on our last hole of the challenge. I got this seven iron in hand, and that's what we're looking at up the hill, guys. I'm probably going to be hitting that seven iron. I didn't even know we had that, but I'm definitely going to be hitting that. It's pretty far back there. It deceives you. pretty good that could potentially be like these clubs are so pure like they might be old but they are pure i don't know what it is guys but they are good big here also with the seven iron i'm loving the feel of these clubs man oh he clutched up that might be long maybe i think that's a little bit long but i think tigs might be long or pin high we'll see you guys so actually we are both long i'm long in the green barely tigs all the way back here almost on the cart path that's what i'm looking at right there for my bird it was a lot of club let's see let's see what tig can do here make birdie and be extremely clutch Ooh. 
That's a solid shot, guys. Yeah, he's looking at... I'm on track to make some more bogeys. <laughs> and be three over. All right, guys, this would be a strong finish for Garrett. See if you can clutch it up here and make par. One under. One under. That was the number I had in mind coming into it, guys. It feels good when a good plan comes together. Take here, or is par. Uh, <laughs> he was not there today. He's not there today. That's three over for Tig. One under for me. Guys, that is about it for today's Thursday video. Hopefully you did enjoy these two thrift store golf challenge videos. They were probably some of the most fun I've had playing golf. Just in general, switching it up, playing the game of golf in a different way that you normally wouldn't. It feels good. It's it's fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy it when we do stuff like this. If you do, let me know in the comments down below. That's about it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, guys. Peace out. Peace out.